Jonah 16. I am in Jonah 16. <coughs> From verse 1. Verse 1. I have told you these things so that you will not stumble or be caught off guard and fall away. They will put you out of the synagogues and make you outcast. And a time is coming when whoever kills you will think that he is offering service to God. And they will do these things because they have not known the Father or me. I have told you these things now so that when their time comes, you will remember that I told you about them. I did not say these things to you at the beginning because I was with you. Carry on reading. But now I am going to him who sent me. And none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts and taken complete possession of them. But I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, meaning comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, stand by, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him, meaning the Holy Spirit, to you, to be in close fellowship with you. And he, when he comes, will convict the world about the guilt of sin and the need for a savior and about righteousness and about judgment about sin and the true nature of it because they do not believe in me and my message about righteousness meaning personal integrity and godly character because i am going to my father and you will no longer see me about judgment and certainly of it because the ruler of this world certain has been judged and condemned I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear to hear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth, full and complete truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but he will speak whatever he hears from the Father, the message regarding the Son. And he will disclose to you what is to come in the future. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, today, what I want to share with you is very, very difficult. And I, God is going to help me to share with you. I think, I think... Uh, you will understand the introduction I was giving you. It is the Holy Spirit. Just write the Holy Spirit. I want you to understand the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has not come to make us to speak in tongues. Holy Spirit has not come to make us to prophesy. Has not come to make us to laugh. So I want us to understand why he came. So Verse 8. Mola verse 8. It says that when he comes. <laughs> He will convince the world about sin. And about righteousness. And about judgment. 
And verse 9 says, about sin, because they did not believe in him. About righteousness, because he is going to the Father. You know what Jesus said? After he spoke with them, he revealed plainly after Judas left that he is going to the Father. But he said, none of you ask me where I'm going. He says, no one has ever asked me where I'm going. The going of Jesus was so important than staying with them. Because if he goes away, the spirit that was working in him will start to work in them. One of the challenges we have here today challenge we have here today we don't know that his going was so important. You know, I grew up in a church where uh, I'm sure Mama in your church they were doing the same. By the time of Good Friday, Good Friday, I'll be seeing our fathers crying and say, you know, he was crucified. This happened. And whereas they were supposed to be rejoicing. He said, if I'm going, uh, you, you will never follow me. You won't come where I am. I'm going away. In other words, the trust that God is having to me will be given to you. What I was supposed to be doing here has been cut to crucifixion. You must carry on. Okay, look at that verse again. It, verse 9, it says verse nine, about sin. Sin uh, is for the people who are not knowing God. Go it's a true nature of it because they do not believe in me. Our message is what is following. Verse 10. Verse 10. About righteousness. Which is personal integrity and godly character. Because I'm going to. The Holy Spirit in us. Is there to make us to have righteousness. We need to be able to be righteousness of God. Righteousness of God. Not only that showing righteousness. People must see us. They see righteousness. See through us. They see righteousness. So that's what the Holy Spirit is there for. I want to tell you something. When Jesus said, you have, Jesus never, Jesus said, you have never asked me where I'm going. I was very shocked. Because Peter did ask that. Before. If we read John 13, go ah, back. John 13. Read from verse 31. John 13. You will see Peter asking that. So when Judas had left, Jesus said, uh -huh. Now is the time for the Son of Man to be glorified. Listen to that. Listen to this verse. It's only when Judas left Judas asked that Jesus revealed his truthfulness to the disciples. There are many 
messages pastors were not supposed to preach. When there are some betrayers are not supposed to hear the secrets of heaven. Read verse again, 31. It says what? So when Judas has left, yes. Jesus said, now is the time for the Son of Man to be glorified. And God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him, meaning the Son, in himself. And will glorify him at once. Carry on reading. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. Listen to that verse. I, I don't want us to read. We continue. Jesus now, yes, he began to reveal his true nature. He called this man, others were married like Peter. Little children. Little children. He, he, he knows them. He knows what is happening to them. Carry on reading. Little children, mm. I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me and as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you are not able to come. I am giving you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. So you too, are to love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you have love and unselfish concern for one another. My God, carry on. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Did you hear that? Amen. Peter asked that question before. Petro matomo. Unfortunately, here he was still one of a little, little children. Okay, okay, carry on. Peter said to him, Lord, sorry, Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will be able to follow later. Peter said to him, Lord, why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you really lay down your life for me? I assure you and most solemnly say to you, Before a rooster crows, you will deny and completely disown me three times. Can you hear that? Amen. Listen to what I want to tell you. Listen to what I want to tell you. Here, Jesus called them little children. You understand why they were called little children. He spoke that after Judas left. And he said, I'll be going away. Not long. You won't see me. They listen to him. But he said, little, not, not long. And then I'm going away. And where I'm going, you won't follow me. But Peter, you know, was, this was addressed to Peter alone. Peter said, no, I want to follow you. Me, I'm ready to follow you. And Jesus says, no. You, you are going to deny me. Three times, you will deny me. I want to tell you why Jesus said that. When Peter says, why I cannot follow you now. Already Peter was out of what Jesus was teaching. Jesus was saying, love one another. Have 
unselfish love to one another. Where you wish the best for someone than to yourself. You cannot do that without Holy Spirit. Already inside Peter, his focus was himself. He was not focusing on the teaching to practice what he has been told. He was focusing that himself, he wants to follow now. He understands Jesus now. But his understanding was coming from a mind of a little child. Not knowing that there will be temptation of checking if he is ready to what he is saying. It takes Holy Spirit for you to be ready with what you are saying. When you are being tested on what you say, it's the Holy Spirit that will counsel you to overcome. When we read here, we can see Peter. His focus is I want to prove a point that I'm with you. Whereas he has not reached a point of losing his life saving others doing it for God. And Jesus says you will follow me but not now. Because there's a test that is you will deny me three times. I want to tell you this. When Holy Spirit is in you when he's with you he will guide you when you are facing whatever, whatever you speak is what you will go through. When you challenge with what you say, you won't fall away. I don't know if you are hearing If you are hearing me say, I'm hearing. I don't know if you, if you are Let me see your hands if you are hearing me. Yeah, are you sure you are hearing me? Let me come to you. If maybe you will hear me if I come. I want to repeat what I'm saying. Because I felt we, we need to know where, where Holy Spirit is taking us. The righteousness of God in us makes us to be right all the time. Even that moment. We won't say what we will never do. We will never say what we will never do. When, when the Bible says when Jesus looked at Peter, Peter was saying, me, I want to follow you now. Whereas in the, in the, in the context of his words were so perfect in human that everybody could just say that without going through through challenges that can make you to say what you say. Holy challenge Holy Spirit tells you that you won't say what you will change tomorrow. Holy Spirit tells you you won't say what you will change tomorrow. Can you see what happened to these people? When Peter was declaring, now I can follow you Petro now. Na I can, I can, I'm ready for everything. I can even die now. Ka ka ufela, ka no but he was not understanding his context. That when he's saying that, he will be a demand. 
when the challenges come to challenge set, so Holy Spirit is there to so stand on what we say. If you are hearing me, say amen. So the Bible says, so the Bible says so the Bible, Jesus was speaking, saying, going away. Peter said, me, where are you going? I know Jesus says, no, where I'm going, you cannot come. I want to come now. 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 And Jesus said, you'll come later. Jesus said, you'll come later. You'll come later. Peter was not hearing already. He has missed the point Peter of the teachings that Jesus was teaching. The teaching that Jesus was teaching was forget about yourself and think about others. Have unselfish love. The interests of other people are more than interests of your own. If you reach a level whereby you are still trying to save your life, you have not reached a level where you can be led by the people. What Jesus was saying, Peter, when I look at you, you are not passed the test of love. 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 Where when we look at you, I'm still see selfishness. You are not ready to lose your love for the kingdom. This is what we are today. You are not ready to lose your love for the kingdom. We are not ready to lose your love for the kingdom. We are not ready to lose your love for the kingdom. We are not ready to lose your love for the kingdom. We are not ready to lose your and Jesus said, I'm seeing you deny me three times. You are going to deny it. And it happened. It really it, it what really happened. Pains Peter. Yeah, did you repeat that when he remembered. How many times we have denied Jesus. Jesus. Because whatever we are asked for, we feel is beyond our control. By doing that, we are failing to fulfill the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God demands you to do things even when it hurt you. Because it's not for selfish reasons. You are ready to lose your life. The righteousness of God demands you. Remember, you are doing this because you are not pleasing yourself. For Jesus to go to the cross, he was led. The spirit of God was led. It was pain and death came. And death came. It was the righteousness of God. Let me give another example of the righteousness of God, which was the, of the Holy Spirit. If you read John 3, Let's say Matthew 3. Matthew 3. I just want us to look at Matthew. You know the scripture. Can you go to read one verse? Say Matthew 3. Yes. Matthew chapter 3. Read from 13. Read along with our 13. So that you understand Holy Spirit. Or a question, my young friend. Holy Spirit wants you to do only what is right. That does not make you happy. My young friend, try when you go read the chapter. The link. When it's with you, you don't excite yourself. When it's with you, you fulfill what he wants you to do. Read verse 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan River to be baptized by him. But John tried to prevent him vigorously protesting Saying it is I who need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? But Jesus replied to him. Permit it just now. For this is the fitting way for us. To fulfill all righteousness. 
Then John permitted it and baptized him. After Jesus was baptized. Amen. After Jesus was baptized, what happened? He came up immediately out of the water. And behold, the heavens were opened. And he, meaning John, saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and lighten on him, meaning Jesus. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased and delighted. Stop there. Are you hearing the righteousness of God? This man had revelation. That this man was like this and that is called Jesus. And he spoke about Jesus that I'm not worthy to baptize that man. But now, when Jesus came, the Bible says he refused vigorously. He refused to extend that people when they were watching, they could see there was there was argument. argument. And Jesus says, permit it. Permit it to fulfill the righteousness. Jesus knew very well that though he is bigger, he must go through so that God will speak and the spirit of God will come. The voice of God could not be heard if Jesus undermined it. It is the Holy Spirit that pushed Jesus and encouraged John to do what he's supposed to do. This is the righteousness of God. I want to tell you something that is going to trouble you a lot. What I want to tell you. Many pastors are not the best to their congregants. Even the congregants are even better than them. But they are under them. To fulfill the righteousness. Of them. I'm sure you what I'm doing. It takes the Holy Spirit for you to be under a person that you are even better than him with IQ. IQ. Now, you are going to say, but I'm sure you're going to question yourself now. Well, the Bible you says you are chosen by the grace. You choose yourself. That's what the Bible says. That's what Bible says. God chose the foolish ones. You know who you are fool. <laughs> and the ones are listening to you. It takes the Holy Spirit. It takes the Holy Spirit. To the wise people. To listen to the fool ones. To listen to the fool are you hearing me? Liantua. You people, you are so wise than ourselves. But it takes the Holy Spirit to make you to sit and so calm and listen to this fool people who are preaching. So if you understand this, you will know that it is the righteousness of God. Place you where you are. You don't have your comfort zone. I'm sure that's what I'm saying. It places you where you are not happy of. 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 So that it will fulfill. For God to speak. For God to reveal. For God to reveal. What is his own. The righteousness of God is needed. And the righteousness of God is there because of the Holy Spirit. The righteousness of God is there because of the Holy Spirit. The righteousness of God is there because of the Holy Spirit. Are you hearing me? Now you understand that. Speaking in tongues. 
<laughs> it's not the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's simple to speak. You can just turn your leg, your, your tongue. <laughs> it's simple to speak. Simple. Or you are good. Or what dear come on your moon? You do like that. One of the ho. Without character. Usnami Huayona. Godly character. Look here, when the Holy Spirit comes to you, you want you to do exactly what has been ordained by God. If John might have denied, he, he might have denied God's plan, what was supposed to be done and loved by God. When I turn like this, it must be the Holy Spirit. When I turn like this, you reach a level where whatever you are doing, it's no longer you doing, but the Holy Spirit is doing it. Your actions must be affected by the Holy Spirit. Your actions. I'm not talking about the issue of, you know, where you find that you are imitating someone. And you say it is the Holy Spirit. No. We see you in character. Because your character must reveal the one who's inside. You. Let's stop pretending things of the Spirit when we are feeling the feeling of the Spirit. You can't even pray in your language, but it's the way you are in This is the time now that your character must reveal that there is something in you which is from above. I don't know if you are hearing me. We have to check you by what you are doing. We must check you by what you are doing. If sometimes when you are, you are driving, you are driving, you see a lady passing. And you do like this. Is it Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit. Is it Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit. Is it Holy Spirit? Is it Holy Spirit? Is it Holy Spirit? Is it Holy Spirit? When you come to chair, you begin to say, Rabba Kuturu, Puturu, 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 and deal with Just yourself. We cannot conclude any things that we don't understand. That are of the spirit, where our lifestyle is not depicting what we preach. We need to reach a level where what we are doing shows the teachings that we are doing. That we are heavy. Is then we have Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that makes you to obey the word as it is. As it is. Not copying it. Not trying it. Direct as it is. Are you hearing me? I'm telling you, many people will go to heaven. Uh, 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 these ones who are not spiritual. Not these ones who are spiritual. You know, people are spiritual. Are very spiritual. Sometimes they do like this. They, they are very dangerous. They want to put a position of making you to understand that there is something. In the Bible here, they are seeing nothing. Now, if you are going to the Bible, you are going to the Bible. How do you have to see angels all the time? You saw this angel. I saw this angel. Yes, you saw this angel. 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 I saw this angel. I saw this angel. Why, why are you seeing all these angels? Why are you seeing these angels? Why are you seeing these angels? Why are you seeing the Bible to us? If you op open newspaper, you can open five hours. But Bible, you can't even read two hours. But you are seeing angels. You are seeing angels. You are seeing angels. You are seeing angels. You see a cockroach passing. You see a fly passing. 
you want to get a message from a fly which is passing Maybe this one is the angel. This is the time that you check yeah, your character. Check your character. What, what makes the church to be insulted today is because the spirit of God is not leading us to comply with the word of God. The word of God is the constitution. constitution. Of heaven, of showing where you come from, where you belong. If you start to kill people here, and, and, and now you are not arrested, uh, what are you saying? What are you saying? They have to search for you and arrest you. Because according to the constitution, you're not supposed to be a killer. Many of you today are arrested according to the constitution of the constitution. You say you're a child of God, but you are not. Let me show you from the scriptures. Because I don't want to talk to him, otherwise I will end up insulting you. John 14, 26. John 14, 26. Hmm? It says, 26. But the helper, yes. meaning comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, stand by the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, meaning in my place to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you all things and he will help you remember everything that I have told you. Mm. Will teach you all things. Mm. Mm. Will teach you all things. Now you understand that the teaching that you are getting need the Holy Spirit. You know we are preaching now. It is the Holy Spirit again who will teach you. Give you revelation of what we are teaching. We can still preach to you. Teach you. It doesn't end there. But the Holy Spirit again will make you to understand what you are hearing. People who have got the Holy Spirit they have their own understanding from the Spirit. They have revelations. They have their own revelation. That verse says, he will help you remember everything It happens, even in the prophecy, it happens. That you can see a vision at home. When you come to church, God remind you. Through the Holy Spirit, I say, I don't know if you hear me. I don't know you are, you are supposed to be knowledgeable. Understanding things. Therefore, Christians are supposed to be reading all the time. Tell you, you are supposed to read all the time. We need to know that our actions must be influenced by the Spirit of God. How do we go to church with all this? Let me show you another scripture we'll show you. We'll show you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Let me show you. some few scriptures. But I say, walk habitually in the Holy Spirit, seeking Him 
and be responsive to his guidance. And then you will certainly not carry out the desire of the sinful nature which responds impulsively without regard for God and his precepts. Did you hear that? Amen. Let's make Holy Spirit our habit in our guidance so that we will be responding according to what he says. Let's make Holy Spirit there. We respond. Habit. Before you do something, check if you are hearing Holy Spirit. Check. If you are hearing what I was telling someone and uh, that person was blaming that he was supposed to have come to Charis a long time ago. He was no longer trusting that they are prophets. And he went there, this person lied to him. I told that person that I don't blame that person. I blame you. Because before you stand up, you need to ask Holy Spirit. You need to take time. Try to understand, am I supposed to be there? Until you get a revelation, is then you can go. I don't know if you are hearing me. We are, we are blaming pastors. And we forget ourselves. What is the reason you stand up, you are going to a place. And when you reach there, you don't find what is going on. If you make Holy Spirit a habit of your responses, you seek Him, ask Him. I want to go there. I will never go there until He reveals to me. I will never go there until he reveals. The day he reveals, you go there. Can you see if you don't have Holy Spirit? You'll go here, you go here. You do everything by your mind. Look at that verse again. It says, you won't carry out the desires of your sinful nature. It is possible to sin when you are not led by the Spirit of God. It is possible to sin when you are not led by the Spirit of God. Today when you move from here, before you speak something, Check yourself. Is it Holy Spirit? Check or give me the Holy Spirit. Why do I speak this way? Why do I have to speak this way? Why must I think this way? Why can I not come home? Because you make it a habit. You know, listen to this. Tell it, Jack. I make it a habit that when I listen, Nike is dealing to us to the Haki Tillich. I must ask Holy Spirit if you are telling me the truth. Because you can make me to lie by answering your lies. I can lie by answering your lies. It is possible you can tell me. Two people sit in front of me. This one, this oh. woman, was me. accusing her husband. Her husband was cheating. Which was true. I was supposed to attack the husband. And I said, even you, you are doing this. You remember you went to meet David. Yes, how do you know? So because you are talking about this one, you both of you. You are the same. I say, I, I know too. I know even whom whom. Ah, I know I know I know I know I know because Holy Spirit will make you to understand yourself before you accuse another. 
you will do it in a right way when you know you have good weakness. It is the Holy Spirit that channel your character. I don't know if you are It channel your character. You check yourself before you correct this one. Remember, the Bible says you are spiritual. Restore this one gently. Restore this one gently. Be careful you won't be tempted. Because you can just attack this one. You can just attack this one. You can just attack this one. Because you can just attack this one. And as you are not spiritual here. If you start to find two people. Who are suspecting each other. So if this was said, I suspect this person. Even that person. Who is doing the same. Is doing the same. Even that person. Is doing the same. But when you have got this head, you begin to know the truth. I began to find the truth about everything. I began to understand the truth. Uh, there are some things that when it happens to me, you will think I will be very hurt. No, I know it has happened. I just know this will happen. No, this, this will happen. Oh, this will happen. This will happen. You will never reach a level of revelation. If you don't start now in dealing with this thing eventually. When I started to train my children to speak the truth. When they are speaking, I could hear this is no truth. Because I'm training them to speak the truth. I want to be involved. So they cannot lie to me. I don't know if you're hearing me. Let's make it a habit. Let's make it our lifestyle. Holy Spirit will start to speak when you present yourself and ready to change everything to comply with the word. I don't know if you are hearing me. How many of you are hearing me? If you are hearing me, you are hearing me. Are you ready to listen to the Holy Spirit? One of the challenge today, we don't listen to the Holy Spirit. Challenge in Nanglio na kira ritelechi moyo mocheto. If you want to see that, how nyoko bana seu? Just see one man. Bana muno mungo muti. Going and sit down, and put a crane, crane of, and put tomatoes to sell. Ah, we are three fast mobile guy. We are the tomato, ora rekish. Very soon. Is it hard? You will see another one putting the same thing there. Later you will find it's a big man. Because we are learning by looking at others. Not asking Holy Spirit. I mean, uh, you will see one of them. Someone was telling me that, ah, man of God. What? 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 Why why you you hate prophets? Why we now to eleva prophet? I don't understand why you hate prophets. Gara kikwishi ara kikwishi she wa to eleva prophet. I said I'm sure you are not talking about. Kya do mela ubule lika nani? I said in the whole world. Gara le fasting le kamoka. I'm the only one person. Kin na keli noish. Who's having a son-in-law? In the whole world. If you go, go and check the whole world. I'm the only one person. I'm not talking about the prophets in church. So how can I? It means I have to hate my son. He said, now I understand that. I said, so you were told, but you could not perceive. We are so flowing with the information that we are hearing from other people. Without revelation by the Holy Spirit. People are feeding us with things that really make us to love tomorrow. And God leave us to our power. And you find that he cannot reveal to us. I don't know if you are hearing me. I told that man, he said, 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 ha. I said, I've got many prophets. And then, but in the whole world, I even have a son-in-law who's a prophet. And 
That man said, hey, I'm going to change. I was beginning to hate you. I said, I understand. I said, at least you have approached me. At least you tell me. Can I tell you this? If you don't start now, how is that to me, Anna Joan? To check your life. What all about people? How? If it's corresponding with the word. Or about some my son, Lily, in tree. Care about the Holy Spirit. Liba la kamo yomuheta. Do you know what God did to me? He said to me, if you obey my word. Oh, Jemu, 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 if you obey my For many years, let's create environment in our house where there's no argument, where there's, where there's peace of the world. And that's what we did. And one day, we saw angels in our house. It's possible. We can get visitation. We can get a serious physical work. If we create environment where the Holy Spirit can visit. I don't know if you hear it. I pray that today. That God will help you. To be led by the Spirit of God. Let's forget about the issue of I drink this, I drink that. Stop dreaming now. Bring the righteousness of God. Bring the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God will make the Holy Spirit to be part of you. God bless you. God bless you.